Hello there, Sarge here again. Today we're going to go over stippled grips. Some people have questions about the stippling that I do and uh, what is it and what different patterns are available. So today we're going to go over a little bit of that. Here's an old grip panel that I pulled out. You can see that the top is obviously not stippled. The bottom is. And what stippling is, for lack of better words, is, is kind of a golf ball indent pattern. Excuse the stuff on my thumb. I've been in the shop today. Anyway, uh, it's kind of an indent in a golf ball pattern, except where all those circles hit together, they leave a point. So what you have here is a texture that's not rough enough to, to tear into your skin or tear into your clothes while you're carrying, but it does provide a texture for those that want extra texture on a grip panel. Um, so that's basically what stippling itself is. Now we'll get into a couple of the patterns that I offer normally. If you can see this here, this rough sketch that I made. That is called the tactical pattern, basically just a, a diamond in the front, the shaded area is what would be stippled. Again, it provides texture where your, when your fingers wrap around, it's going to be right there, you're going to feel that. Uh, another popular one is called the shadow. Again, the shaded area here is the part that would be stippled, the rest of it would be smooth. Um, this pattern, it adds some visual interest as well as a functional part of being, you know, providing the texture. Again, where your fingers are wrapping around that pistol grip, if you can imagine that, you're gonna, your hands are going to feel some texture there. So that's the shadow, that's the tactical. Now one that I've just come out with, you know, I'm always trying to develop new stuff to help the shooter out. And this is one that I've given to some friends that really liked it. I'm calling this my daily carry pattern. Uh, again, the shaded areas are what are going to be stippled. What you notice is basically that the, the widest part or the middle of each grip panel is smooth. So when you're carrying this in a holster under a shirt, uh, what, what is making contact with your skin is going to be pretty smooth. It's not going to eat on you at all. It's not going to cause you any trouble. But where your palm, again, lower part here where you're gripping this, the lower part on your, each of your palms in your firing hand is going, to receive, is going to feel texture. Again, also where your fingers wrap around, you can imagine this is where my middle finger here would be making contact with the grip in a shooting hold. That's where I've got a majority of the texture and it gets on down because, you know, how much are you controlling with your pinky? You don't notice the texture that much with your pinky, so it gets less. Now, not only is this a beautiful pattern, again, adding to the wood and the look of the grips themselves, but it's also very functional in that it provides the texture where you want it for those that actually like the, the texture on their grips. So I hope that explains some of the patterns. Now when you see them on the site and you've always wondered what a tactical pattern or a shadow pattern or you'll start seeing the daily carry pattern pop up, at least now you'll have a basis for what they are. Thanks a lot. See you next time.